I feel like I'm in the middle of a million projects right now. I'm gonna show you everything. But first, Billie Holiday, that was in my last vlog. If you missed it, I'm gonna link the vlog at the end of this one. It was a super cozy vlog where I sketched on the couch with Lennox. It was a really calm, cozy vlog. So I really love this Billie Holiday. And what I've done behind the scenes is I've gone and painted a second Billie Holiday. Let me show you. She looks different in both just because she looked different in different periods of her life. As you can see based on the reference photos. I love this one because of the composition, the angle of the camera. I love the mic. I love the color that I was able to achieve with it. All the detail in her hair as well. But I also like this one. She's super into the song. She's holding a cigarette. Like both are very different. I like both. I can't tell if I have a favorite yet. Do you have a favorite? Let me know in the comment if you like the left one more or the right one more. I'm curious. I think David prefers this one and I'm not sure if I have a favorite yet. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Cynthia. Yeah, I create cozy art vlogs every week documenting my process in the studio. Right now, I'm documenting the process of creating a new painting collection, the first real cohesive collection of my life. And I'm also trying to learn how to sell art online. So if art vlogs and selling art online and just painting in general is interesting to you, please subscribe and hit the bell. Follow along the journey. Thanks in advance. Right now, I have three projects and more going on at once. Let me show you. I painted these two paintings of a guitar. It's the same kind of painting with different color placements and different like explorations, if you will. And I wasn't super satisfied with the fretboard that I got with the strings and all that. This is what it looked like originally. So I'm reworking the fretboard on both and I want to try to different types of fretboards. You'll see what I mean when I paint it. I'll show you what I do with these and see if my changes improve the paintings or if it makes it worse. We'll see. And the new painting I'm working on today is this one. It's a heart, beautiful heart full of love. I feel like we all need a lot of love right now. Uh, and the hands, of course, the signature hands in my painting. There's a lot of hands in my paintings, holding stuff. So this is the one that I'll be tackling today. I'll make sure to finish it so that you could see the final result. And I also bought something cool that I'm going to put together a bit later on. So I'm going to get working and I'll show you the process.
Right, I'm gonna let this dry fully before I remove the masking fluid. And if you're curious about the whole masking fluid thing, I've made a video about it where I go through all the steps. But in these videos, it's more me documenting my art process. It's not really a how-to thing. So you can go and look at it if you're curious. Right now, I want to open this. It's a little uh, gift that I gave to myself to sort some art supplies. Hopefully, it looks nice. I'm going to put it together. It's all put together. I thought I was, because I, I bought it on Amazon and usually things on Amazon can be like, you know, I don't even need to put it together. It's all put together. It looks so nice. Oh my God. It looks so nice. It's bamboo. It turns. Let me just organize it, like put a few things in and then I'll do a little organizer tour. Hello, cutie pie. The next things I'm <laughs> talking to him because I said cutie pie. Do you want to say hello to friends? Do you want to say hello to the friends? They're there. Look, say hi. Hello. <laughs> He's been very needy today. He wanted me to hug him, spend time with him. Yeah, you're needy today. You need hugs. It's okay. It happens. I'm always down for hugs. I love you. You're the best. Oh, you're being cute again. You're being so cute all the time. Okay, gotta put you on the floor. You wanna go on your bed? I'll see you in a few minutes, Beebs. See you soon. He went to his bed. All right, this is very fancy. I wanted something useful that I could bring in the living room and have a bunch of tools that I could use without everything rolling everywhere. But I didn't want it to be like too big. Some of my trays are a little large. Let me give you a tour of my organizer. It's so cute. If you're curious, the brand is Darfu. It's a 360 rotating bamboo organizer. It's really cool that it rotates, first of all. It's very, very useful. And it's well made, I must say. There's no like weird glue or things that are too wobbly. It looks pretty well made. I kept this little post-it pad up here. And then let me bring you closer. Pencil sharpener chunky eraser and there's more room in here if I want to put more stuff like I said you can put four, four pencils per tiny little squares I have some blending stumps different sizes here there's a nice tape dispenser that works really well I've put small scissors sanding paper for my blending stumps and there's a whole bunch of room more I could have a small sketchbook on here and there's a little compartment here and I've put a couple treasures a kneadable eraser a few oil pastel sticks the Sennelier ones and I kept it in this plastic little case to keep it a bit less messy and I've put some charcoal white and black with a little sangin stick here i could put a lot more in here there's a bunch of stuff i could put a bunch of dry pastel in there and i don't really mind if it gets messy because it's meant for art and imagine all of that stuff in a tiny little package it's so small it doesn't take up a lot of room on the table but there's so much stuff that can be put in it my best friend. Don't you like a good organizing system? Next step is to remove the masking fluid and take a look at this heart painting. Hope it comes out. Come on, little darling. Time to shine. 
Where is my thing? Oh, here. If you're wondering how I use it, you can use it with your finger, like just scratch it off. But there's also this tool made out of like hard rubber. It's square and you use the sides to rub things off. At first, it's a little rough when you first get it, but it gets used up and then it becomes a little softer. Done, but before I show you the heart painting, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I want to show you how I rework this. Hold on. I did it a little bit differently for both. Here, there's like little squares, a hint like of a fretboard, and here I kept the strings as the main focus. I think that this one is quite interesting. It gives a really different feel. To the guitar and I prefer this to the original one I'll overlay the original you can let me know what you think if you prefer the strings or not I think I like this one better as far as this do I like the original better no I think I like this better but uh, maybe I could have left the little dots for more interest I'm not sure I'm gonna have to let this one simmer I think it's interesting because it's more minimal I didn't quite like the strings the way I did it. I had done some frets with the strings. There was too many lines. Anyways, I like this. I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna show you the heart. I really like the color palette that I got. All these pops of color, the yellow, those pinks. It's, I, I kind of like the mix of everything. There's some kind of interest in the middle of the heart. It's not too busy and the colors are cool. I love the hands. It's very intricate. A lot of wiggly lines, but I think it's interesting. The contrast of the hands with the very simple shape in the middle is very stark. I don't know if maybe there should be something in the middle of the heart, like Maybe a nice script letter, but I don't know if that might be like too much, you know? So I'm a little confused whether I leave the heart really minimal like this with the big burst of color or if I work some kind of little pattern around inside. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to let it sit for now. I think it's interesting, but I'm not sure if it's 100% finished. I think it's like probably... 95% finished or 100. I'll know in a few weeks. The series is getting pretty well underway, which makes me really happy. I have quite a few paintings done now, which is very encouraging, very exciting. There's more to come. Here are two videos if you want more inspiration and if you want to know more about all these paintings, subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much in advance. I'll see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for